Rab, we're looking ahead to a gala night's racing at Hove on Saturday. Good prize money, festival. And, and that's the future, isn't it? Without a doubt, Hobbs, when Sunderland used to have the 40 and the £60,000 race, everybody, even Ireland was over for it. You know what I mean? Everybody was there. Great night. And this is what it's got to be now. Because the price of fuel, the price of everything, and the time away has got to be worth the while for the trainers. Not to travel. That's all right if you get to a final and you've got one dog in the final. But to begin with, you've got to leave the kennels and you've, you can't have an empty space in the van. You you want to believe in the kennels with as many dogs as you've got in it available to you for day competitions and go there. So is it, if you don't have a winner, you're not coming home with an empty tank of diesel. You're not struggling to get back home. You've paid the night, you've paid the wages and it's been worth your while. Prize money needs to go up a wee bit to cover all this. You know what I mean? It has to go up. Run money has to go up. £100 a dog. There's so many strands to this industry, so many aspects of it, plenty of stakeholders and what have you. What's your kind of overview of the sport? Well, to begin with, I think probably we're the biggest stakeholder. We never get asked a question about what we think about the industry. And I love Mark Bird. By the way, I've never had a problem with Mark Bird. I think he's the best we've had for a long, long time. I wish he'd come into the industry years and years ago. I think it would have been different. What he's done to bring us so far up the table against the aunties and all the rest of it and take us forward, I think he's been the right man. And listen, I'm, I've been the biggest critic of some of them through the years. I've, I've went to town with some of them and probably... Whether the reason was right or no, but I, 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 I've always stood behind Matt, and I think he's. I still think the likes of your Duncan Gibsons and all the rest. Of it, I think they're the proper people. I do honestly believe that that the proper people is in place now, but I don't feel as if we're moving and and maybe no fast enough. You know what I mean, Hobbsy? I don't think we're getting enough money into the industry from the people that are making the money, right? or whether the promoters is keeping too much here, I don't know. I'm, I'm not into all these kind of figures, and uh, that nobody's about to tell me these figures, but I think there's things has to improve. I don't know whether... It, it, it's no down to Mark. That's no down to Mark. He's in a position what he's doing, he's fighting his own battles. I know he's trying to get us a levy, which would be brilliant, but we've been fighting this for years, and let's hope that everything should be coming together. And this industry should be flying. It should be, but I can't understand how attached trainers can travel local with their graders A5s and A6s and travel five miles down the road with their grading dogs, which, listen, if that's what you want to do, that's what you do, and that's how you make a living. But get more prize money. If I travel four hours up the road a £20,000 dog for an open race. Look at the horses. They don't run for the same. Well, open race greyhounds are way beyond, so we should be going up there and at least getting a £100 a runner when it comes to that. Should trainers have a bigger voice, generally? Oh, without a doubt. I'm, I don't mean it in an angry way or nothing like that, Hobbsy, and I don't mean a, 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 a shouting match or nothing like that. I don't mean that. I mean... More consultation? Yeah, listen, the, these board meetings and all the rest of the, the promoters have and all the rest of it, we, we, we're, we're told nothing that's going on. There's new rules getting brought out all the time, ear defenders, uh, all this. Now, if, if, if these people are so bothered about our ears now, what about the last 20 years that we've been doing it and nobody, I, I, I've never heard them to complain about it? So if we're going to start bothering about our ears, what's about starting to put pass in from the boxes to the pickup so as we don't break our ankle? Because our ankle's every bit as important as our ears. So if they want to start picking wee bits like that, uh, to me it's just stupid. So And the, 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 the four-day rule and the three-day rule for trialling dogs and, and all this, to me, we, we, we have got to be consulted about this. And I don't know 
who's right and who's wrong, who's brought in these rules, but I think it's about time that somebody gave us a wee bit of chance not to have these arguments, because they're the ones that's causing the arguments because we don't like what a lot of them's doing. But sit down and have a... At least ask us. Ask us. We are the ones that's training the greyhounds. We are the ones that knows what is best for our greyhounds. And I'm not saying that as a graded trainer, because I can't speak for them. And I know they were getting used a wee bit too much there, which I do... Probably should work for that. But it's different for us. It is different. We're in a different position. Where, where dogs are not running once a week, or where dogs are running once a week, and then we kind of get a trial somewhere. Because the so-called, we've got to trial now, another rule that's been brought in and dropped on us without our say-so, without us even getting a chance to put we're, we're our side across. We're not even asked. So whoever it is that wants to bring out these new rules, if they want to give some of us, I know Peter Hand is doing his job, but Peter's not allowed to discuss it with us. What kind of game is this? What is happening? If this was anything else, they would say, what are they, what are they going on about? The boardroom's not allowed to talk to the other boardrooms. We are part of it. A big part of it. And it's time they realise that.